In 2008, Oprah held a one-of-a-kind webcast with author Eckhart Tolle to discuss his new book, A New Earth. Joining me today is Linda Burke, one of the participants. Let's watch the clip. Linda is Skyping us from her den. Uh, hi. Hi. How are you, Is Oprah? that a yellow How den you have there? Yellow? Yes. Yes, it's <laughs> gorgeous. She has a question about the pain body and her sister. Um, uh, you write on page 148 that the pain bodies love intimate relationships right. and families. My question is, how can I really reconnect the family? So Linda, how has your relationship changed with your sister since the webcast? And also, how has life changed for you since then? Eckhart gave me a lot of guidance about uh, encouragement about how to release my own pain body and how to allow and give space for my sister's own pain body to take up the space it needed. And that he even encouraged me that I might have to let her go mm -hmm. to do that. That just because it didn't happen the way I thought it should happen doesn't mean it wouldn't happen. So ultimately what ended up happening was I um, let her go calmly and with a lot of love. And it took about two years for her to reach out to our family one more time. And about three years ago, she connected with my mom, reached out to her, and ever since then, we've had a regular, intermittent, but regular communication. So um, it's made me extremely happy, and it's also kind of allowed me to just leave the space open for however my sister wants to do it as we move forward. That's very healthy to be able to leave that space open for growth. Now, it's been six years since the New Earth webcast. How have you been able to recognize the active pain body and remain present? That's ch an ongoing challenge. It's really interesting because I think over the last few years, the one thing that I continue to do is to remember to breathe. Um, I have two kids, and uh, I'm married with two children, and there's a lot of emotion around our interactions, um, for the good or for the not so good. And what I've learned a lot from my reading of The New Earth is to really be take a moment and breathe. And before my anything engages, uh, and the emotion of the interaction with my kids um, has really come down to a level that's a lot more manageable. And they seem to enjoy it, and I know I do. Um, so the, the journey that the new earth opened up for me has been really powerful. And that book changed my life. Yeah, I love that. And I love that you take those moments to breathe. So what I really want to know now is in what ways do you implement Eckhart Tolle's teachings into your everyday life? Well, every day I make a point of being conscious of my breath because as I'm conscious of it, it makes me more present, more active in the moment that's actually going on, not the moment that happened a few minutes ago and not the moment I'm anticipating. I think that's been the biggest lesson I've learned from reading that book is breathing and being pre present. I love that. Thank you so much, Linda. I'm going to make sure I take that in. And thank you so much for joining us today. Now, you can tune in to OWN to see Super Soul Sunday presents Oprah and Eckhart Tolle, A New Earth, and visit the all-new Oprah.com for more web exclusives and for all things Oprah.